In today's episode, we'll look at using import maps. Import maps is a web platform standard that allows us to use bare specifiers in Dino without having to install the packages locally. Um, now, if you're familiar with Node.js, uh, you probably have used something like a package.json file um, where you specify your libraries, you then install them locally, and then you can use them um, with this, what we call bare specifiers. Uh, so you can just import from uh, Lodash. So uh, in Dino, we don't install uh, packages locally. Um, you know, if you've seen this before, we would use something um, like Dinoland or ESM.sh um, to basically just reference the package code that's out there on the internet, uh, published on the internet, and we don't need to install it locally. Um, but maybe we still want to use this concept where we want to use packages across uh, multiple functions and kind of want to manage um, all our packages in one uh, single place. And so we can accomplish this with uh, an import map JSON file. So uh, let's go ahead and actually um, use one of our existing projects here. So we have our project um, here, for example, our Stripe project. We're importing um, the surf method from standard server, and then we're importing Stripe from um, ism.sh. So let's go ahead. Um, in uh, Superbase Edge functions, there is multiple locations. We have that here in the docs where we can have our import map.json file. So we can have one uh, import map.json file per function. Um, that the benefit here is it makes the function very portable. So you could copy and paste it from one project to another project, or you can have, and that's what we're going to do here. Um, at the top level in your functions folder, we're going to create one new import underscore map.json file. And um, the benefit of having kind of this top level file is that you can use the imports across um, all of the functions. Now, if one of your function has uh, an import map file within it, um, the function folder itself, then that will take um, precedent when deploying with the Superbase CLI. So here we have our import map. And now we can look at how um, we do this. So we would specify uh, imports. Here, um, we don't actually need Lodash, but we want to use Stripe. And so we can now go ahead and we can um, pull out Stripe here from um, the import. And um, actually in this case, so uh, the nice thing is that this also um, imports the, the types properly with Stripe. So we don't need the, the no check import um, here, but we can actually use TypeScript um, with Stripe to its, to its full extent, which is um, really nice. And then we can give that save. And so now we can uh, reference Stripe. So you can see um, we use this here, Stripe. So that's our import name. And then we are importing Stripe from um, Stripe. Now, the thing is that um, this will work with, with the CLI. So if we deploy this now, uh, the problem is that um, VS Code, so we're using VS Code here, um, doesn't know about our um, import map. And so we actually need to um, tell it about it in our VS Code settings. So these are the settings that you uh, set up in the project setup earlier. And so what we can do now is we can extend these settings with um, this flag here, Dino import map. Uh, and we'll um, put that in here. And then we give that a save. Uh, and so now here relative to um, the, the project uh, base URL. So in Superbase functions, we'll be looking for our import map. Uh, and then uh, sometimes we need to uh, kind of restart the, the language server for that to work. Uh, generally, what I do is um, yeah, give that a save, um, close VS code and restart it. Uh, and sometimes that will resolve the issues. And so now we can see here, okay, uh, we actually have Stripe being um, imported properly from Stripe. 
Uh, and so one thing now is with this, um, we'll actually need to use new stripe. And then um, this needs to be uh, a string. So we'll call that as string. Um, so that is working fine now. And then lastly, we need to specify um, the API version for the types that we want to use. Um, and actually here, so the version of the library um, that Stripe is using is tied to um, a specific API version so that uh, Stripe can make sure that whatever is being returned from the API will match the types that are in the library. And so now you can see we have a proper um, typed Stripe client here. Uh, I think we might um, have something here where um, the is not assignable. So signature, um, we can say if we make it to this point, so it might be string or null, uh, we probably would want to check that um, it actually is there. But for now, we're just going to say, yes, it is going to be there. Uh, and then this one uh, also has a string. Uh, so the webhook uh, secret. And so now we have Stripe probably imported with um, here our uh, bare specifier, and we have full TypeScript support with type in um, with with Stripe in Dino. So that is how import maps work. And so lastly, um, what we can do to verify this is we can run our superbase functions serve, and we want our stripe webhook function um, to see if that is all uh, working fine. And we can now see uh, that it, this is working correctly and we're getting hello from stripe webhook. So um, by default, the stripe CLI uh, looks for the top level import map JSON file and then resolves that correctly. And the same works for the deploy command. Now, if you want to have your uh, import map placed somewhere else, you can also then just use the import map uh, flag with the CLI um, to point to a different file. There we are. That's it. This is how we can use import maps with Dino on Superbase Edge functions. Thanks for tuning in and see you next time.